Thank you, Graham. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm the right place. I'm a surgeon, and um, as hearing of the, all the speakers today, I probably should have prepared another presentation than I have, but I'm going to stick with it. Um, um, somebody out there tells me that Denmark is leading the way in digital care. Uh, there's been reports and articles claiming that. And there's, a, there's some truth on it and a lot of uh, hype. So I'll just shortly say what's the real stuff and what's the hype. Um, there's, there's something gone in the, in the past. That's the, the documented effect out in the GP practice all around Denmark. And there we have a health portal, uh, which have been around for uh, seven years now. And then there's the future, which I'm going to talk about. And, and the thing in between is telemedicine. Telemedicine is going to uh, save Denmark, if you ask the politi politicians. Uh, it's going to almost take care of all the elderly. And there's some truth in it, but it's not... It's, there's a lot of hype, and some of the architects, articles you saw was the hype. Um, the focus on the work in Denmark since 1996 has been on supporting the work processes at GP offices. We've been very good at building systems uh, mainly based on uh, smaller, com from smaller companies, uh, implementing EDI standards communicating to the surrounding uh, facilities. And uh, this is the, the brag uh, slide saying that we have 100% coverage. Every GP has a, a IT system and is using it very heavily. But it's all based on messaging. They are sending messages to each other in huge amount. And so, so one of the things we learned by these success in, since 1996 is that by sending all these data, we're creating a lot of copies of data. Um, and if you ask a GP in Denmark who has the latest copy of the data, uh, which data can I trust, um, and who should I send a copy to, he'll be blank, um, he, he won't be able to answer. So in spite of having 100% coverage of IT system at the GP offices, we haven't solved the problem with having an answer on what is the patient actually taking uh, as medicine. And in the technical space, we have a lot of interfaces. We have, as we say back home, a spaghetti architecture. So we want to get from one place to another. This is the situation as is now, a lot of end-to-end -end integrations, a lot of messaging going from one place to another, a lot of copies. And to a future model, which we have started off by building a national uh, service platform. And I'm sorry to say, I would like to say that, that we have planned it to be like this, but we, we just came about building it as open source. So that's why, is it the right conference? Am I the right speaker? But all of the things we built in the new way is open source. Um, and that's quite interesting uh, what kind of questions you then get, uh, get when you talk to the industry in Denmark. So the, the model is instead of getting all these point to point messaging, we want to s uh, share information uh, through a, a, a service platform which take care of all the uh, the boring stuff, the integrations, the, the uh, security, the privacy, and the indexing. And on top of that, we build the shared repositories, and one of the first of them is the, the, um, for sharing medication of uh, information. So we try to create interoperability by a common open infra, uh, national IT inf architecture by using open standards, and to some extent, open data sets. But uh, there we still have a, a way to go. So the green parts we built, we are on the way of implementing, and I will, the rest of the presentation is, is going to go on why we built just this uh, service firstly. In short, the shared medication record, which, which is going to be the empowerment tool for the patient, is actually 
We have a central service, a service provider, giving access to online uh, medication data of the individual patient. This is uh, transported by a dedicated network and is consumed at, at the end from the local EHR system medication modules out in the clinics. And that's a learning point from uh, the health portal to now, is that just building a portal, giving it to clinicians having 10 minutes of time together with the patients, having to go to another, com another site, logging in, finding the patient, they don't, that's not in, in line with their work. So they had to be integrated in the local system. So the service, they're looking at shared data from within their own system. That's the new thing. In that, there's 38 ways of communicating medication in Denmark. There used to be, and we're trying to get it down to one. That's a hard business, and one of the big areas where we were surprised we had to work was to get these people uh, understanding each other's languages. We thought they, they won't go to the same medical school, but when you go to become a GP, you speak a certain way. When you're in a hospital, you speak another way. So some of the issues we got uh, have solved in a way is getting these people to understand the same things uh, around medication. So instead of sending data, we are trying to share data. And that's, of course, because there's a lot of mistakes going on, a lot of errors in medication. It's, uh, it's good that the, the human body is so robust. If, if, uh, if you count the number of mistakes going on around medication, you'll be surprised. It's more dangerous to go to a hospital than take an airplane, that's for certain. Um, so the background is reducing errors, better communication between citizens and professionals and in between professionals. And one key, um, I'll skip this one. Um, you, you probably can't read this one, but since the beginning of the health portal in 2004, it's been a key issue for us to when we provide a new service, we provide a service both for the patient and for professionals. So this shared medication record is shared between the professional and with the patient. So the patient can look up who's looked at my record. So there's a log. I can see, I can go on online now and look up my uh, shared medication record and see who's, which doctor has looked up and said, okay, I don't know this guy. Why have he been looking at my data? Um, so now we got the service. We got it uh, on the way of implementing it and we're standing on the, the shore, and we only need to implement it. Thank you. <laughs>